Hey party people, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over my pickups for the month of May. Uh, different card shops, different places, and actually this includes a little trip across country. Uh, one of the card shops I went to was actually on my way back from picking up a friend in Colorado and helping him drive across country. Uh, good lord, Kansas is flat and depressing. But other than that, it wasn't that bad a ride. Um, so why don't we just jump right in? Let's actually start with that. It was just this one card. Uh, it's a Roger Clemens uh, Topps Gold Label Award Ceremony. Uh, they wouldn't budge on the price, but you know what? It was a pretty cool card. Nice little patch. It doesn't say game used. It just says award ceremony from the 21 gold link. Yeah, I, I don't know. I probably overpaid for this. It's authentic for something. I, I don't know. I think I overpaid it 10 bucks, but I thought it was really cool because I think it's really cool. Even though he's a cheater, uh, he was great before he cheated go on to these next ones uh, these the rest of these were all back home we got Jim Tomey who that says game used memorabilia and he's a Hall of Famer so can't go wrong and Justin Jefferson rookie patch so obviously it's not game used because it's a rookie patch but it's my son's favorite player so this will not stay with me he is probably going to get that as, uh, I don't know, kindergarten graduation present or something. I don't know. It's his favorite player. One of, anyway. So, that is not long for me. Next, we have Braden Shen, numbered to 75. And Claude Giroux, uh, numbered to 499. Yep, 499. So, it was 10 bucks for those two. Not a Flyers fan, but. You know, Braden Shen, if I remember right, he's, he's a... I mean, they're both good players. Claude Giroux, I think, could end up in the Hall of Fame. So, yeah, they're numbered patches. They are they are game-worn, so figured why not. Out on a limb on a little bit. Uh, probably the best card, or one of the best cards of this whole bunch, is going to be right behind this Tony Gwynn. By the way, this is a Tony Gwynn rookie card. It's got... It's got its issues, but it's otherwise really nice. He's a Hall of Famer. I don't have this card. Now I do. But speaking of Hall of Famers, slow reveal. You see the helmet? Has anyone figured it out who this is yet? Oh, look, it's a helmet. It's 12. It's a quarterback. It's the GOAT. It's a patch. I did not pay $50 for it. Uh, I think I paid $50 or less than $50 total for these, but I still, I I had to pay for this. It's a game-worn jersey of the GOAT. Let's put you down. It's from 2006? No, 2003. So really early in his career, numbered to 90, uh, 999. I could not pass that up. It was also the cheapest of the patches he, that they had for sale, so felt like I had to do it. Ugh. Now we're on to this stack. My son wanted this card. He's actually already earned that, so we'll give that to him. It's a Dominator's Tyreek Hill. It's from Donruss. It's a nice prism, and he goes, he is on the Dolphins. I'm like, yeah, you're right, buddy. And he really liked that card, so we picked that up. It's a die cut Joey Bosa to 75. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Max Scherzer. This is a game used jersey patch. I am a sucker for patches. Uh, there are these two second year LeBrons. Uh, my son goes, There's two. You have to get them both. It's like, Buddy, why do I have to get them both? So we can have one. Uh, we can each have one. So, you know, guy already knows how to manipulate me. So I had to get two. He'll uh, he'll have to earn that one, though. Buster Posey, sure to be a Hall of Famer. Um, I don't remember if that was... Oh, it is. Game Worn. 
So snatch that up. Scott Rowland is in the Hall of Fame, and I believe it's also game used. Yep, game used. Can't go wrong with Hall of Famer, uh, Hall of Famers, and game used stuff. Uh, this I grabbed for my wife. Big hockey person. Game jersey of David Krejci. He. This is game used. Yep, game used. Okay, it's hard to go wrong with that stuff, and it makes her happy. And then I grab this. It's a Don Mattingly rookie card. Um, he is going to go into the Hall of Fame eventually. It'll be the... Um, what are they called? Uh, the Decade Crew or the Veterans Committee. or It's, it's one of those. He is going to get in. So I figured why not grab a couple rookie cards if I can afford them. I think that's on the card. Maybe not. No, it is on the card. Dang it. Well, still, maybe I'll have to get some more. But I guess that's why it was 10 bucks instead of 20 bucks. Well, you live and you learn. Last stack. We got Giancarlo Stanton. There's a couple patches here, and they are game used. That one's numbered to 99. And I'll tell you, this guy, borderline, he's close. I think his war's around 50. Uh, I think the benchmark to be considered Hall of Fame worthy is around 60 or 70. So he's still got a little ways to go. Uh, he did lose some years to injury. But hopefully, hopefully, I got these real cheap. Hopefully got some real cheap. Hall of Famer patches. Speaking of Hall of Famer patches, if this guy wasn't doing steroids, he'd be in the Hall of Fame. Another game use patch. Um, he's different from other guys, like different from Rogers, at least to me, in that he never denied it, he, like Rafi Palmero did. He was never a dick about it, like, well, like Roger, Barry Bonds bunch of other guys that were doing steroids I do think history is going to look more kindly on Mark McGuire than those guys I do think he will get in eventually so there you go major league game used material how about a guy who's already in the Hall of Fame Fergie Jensen, uh, Jenkins excuse me uh, it's numbered it's from National Treasures I believe he was a pitcher in the 50s and 60s yeah mid 60s okay so it wasn't that far off but hall of fame material i'll take it speaking of hall of famers look at that jim kelly that's a hall of fame game used jersey patch i thought that was really cool and you know what i ended up paying about 30 dollars for this whole stack uh really didn't think it was that bad at all i know some people hate jersey cards I think they're just a gimmick, but I'm falling for the gimmick. Alright, I, I, I'm a sucker for these things. That's really cool. Another guy sure to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Larry Fitzgerald. Great player. Is it numbered? It is numbered. Numbered to 75. So, it's a patch card numbered to 75, and it's game used, I believe. Was cut from an authentic jersey... And yeah, official NFL game. Yep. Look at that. And you've already seen it on the back. It's not a game used jersey, but it is a Mookie Betts rookie card. Uh, I mentioned war earlier when talking about Giancarlo Stanton. He's around 50 war right now. I think, <laughs> I think Mookie Betts is already at like 60 war or something. Some crazy number. So I'm going to start having to stockpile the Mookie Betts rookie cards. If I can find them and afford them, I'm going to be buying those. Anyway, that was the month of May. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, who are you targeting? Who are you looking for? And uh, if, if I wasted my money on things like patch cards, uh, let me know. Who should I be targeting? I want to see those down in the comments. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please. If you had fun, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Makes me feel good about myself, really boosts my ego, and helps out the channel. 
All right, we're getting that much closer to 500 subscribers in our first giveaway. So if you can, if you had fun, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch all you guys in the next video. See ya.